If we could, uh, we'd like to have a message at this time from the Vice President. Copy, stand by one. OTC entity. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, step 844, perform clearing to close that crew from FSS. Yes, sir. Good morning, Mr. Vice President. It's a real honor to have you here with us today. Well, we're delighted to be here. I'm uh, here with Marilyn and two of our children and behalf of the President and all Americans. We just wish you and uh, your crew uh, good luck and Godspeed. We know it's going to be great. Thank you, sir. Well, we, we very much appreciate your support, and uh, we look forward to uh, having a, a safe and successful 50th launch of the space shuttle by the world's greatest launch team, and uh, we're very pleased to have you here today. Well, thank you very much, and uh, give a special hello to Mae Jameson. Uh, I was in Detroit uh, several months ago and uh, met with the principal of the Mae Jameson Academy. The principal is here, and we're all going to be watching the flight and the launch. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Vice President. It's wonderful that you were able to visit the school, and I know that they had wonderful things to say about your visit. Well, thank you very much. Uh, good luck to all of you. I hear Marilyn standing here. She'd like to say a word, too. At T-minus 7 minutes and 30 seconds, we're now seeing the orbiter crew access arm retracting away from the orbiter Endeavour and being uh, put in the launch ready configuration. If an emergency were to occur, the arm could be re-extended back up to the orbiter in just 15 seconds. All systems are go at this point at T minus 6 minutes, 52 seconds. Weather is ideal. The vehicle is in good shape, and we expect to see NT Endeavor off the ground in just under 7 minutes. And PLT OTC perform the APU pre-start. PLT and work. Orbiter test conductor Roger Gillette has just instructed Endeavor's pilot Kurt Brown to perform the auxiliary power unit pre-start procedure. T minus three minutes, 55 seconds, a test of the orbiter's flight control systems is starting. The aero surfaces, such as the rudders, elevons, and speed brakes, are now being moved through a programmed test pattern to verify they are up and ready for launch. Aero surface checks are complete and reported to be in launch configuration. Also at this time, the three main engines are being yeah, gimbaled, right meaning that they are going through a steering check and being positioned for launch. All systems remain go for launching Endeavour on America's 50th space shuttle flight in just under three minutes. PLT, OTC, clear caution and warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. PLT and work. Retraction of the gaseous oxygen vent hood from atop uh, the external tank is now in work. OTC, PLT, caution warning, warning memory is cleared, no unex unexpected messages. I right, copy, and flight crew, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 flow. Good luck on your mission, and see you in one week. Orbiter Roger. test conductor Roger Gillette Roger. instructing the crew to close their flight visors and yeah, preparation Roger. for this morning's liftoff of Endeavour. T minus 17 seconds, we're coming up on a go for main engine start. Ten. Yeah, let's just go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Two, one, solid rocket ignition, and liftoff. Liftoff of Endeavour on America's 50th space shuttle flight. Houston now controlling. Houston, Endeavour's with you in the hall. Roger, roll, Endeavour. Roll maneuvers complete aboard Endeavour. 
is now in a heads down position on course for a fifty seven degree one hundred sixty nautical mile orbit engines now throttling down now at sixty seven percent as endeavor prepares to pass through the air at maximum dynamic pressure Endeavour Houston, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight. Endeavour is now seven miles from the launch site, altitude 11 nautical miles. Now traveling 2,400 feet per second or about 1,700 miles per hour. The next event is a burnout of the solid rocket boosters. That occurs at about two minutes. Endeavour Houston, UHF com check. How do you read? Two minutes into the flight now, Endeavour is 21 miles away from the Kennedy Space Center. Solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Standing by for the first stage performance call. Endeavour Houston, performance nominal. Roger, copy nominal performance. Performance thus far in the mission has been as expected. Endeavour is now 50 miles away from the launch site at an altitude of 38 nautical miles, traveling 4,800 feet per second or about 3,400 miles per hour. All three main engines are still performing well, as are the hydraulic and electrical systems aboard the orbiter. Endeavour Houston, two engines, Zaragoza. Copy, two engines, Zaragoza. Endeavour can now reach the primary transatlantic abort site of Zaragoza, Spain, in the event of a single engine failure but all three engines are still performing well at 104%. Endeavour's altitude is now 293,000 feet, 85 nautical miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, traveling 6,800 feet per second or 4,400 miles per hour. Four minutes into the flight now of Endeavour. Endeavour Houston, negative return. Roger, negative return. At this point in the mission, Endeavour can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure. However, all three are still performing well, as are the hydraulic and electrical systems aboard the orbiter. Endeavour's altitude is now 348,000 feet, downrange from Florida, 148 nautical miles traveling 8,600 feet per second, or about 5,700 miles per hour. All systems aboard Endeavour performing well. The orbiter is now 367,000 feet altitude. Downrange from Florida, 200 nautical miles. The orbiter is now accelerating through 7,200 miles per hour.
Endeavor Houston, press to ATO. Roger, press to ATO. All three engines still at 104 percent. Droop Zaragoza 109, Endeavor. Roger, Droop 109. Endeavour is now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 280 nautical miles, altitude 375,000 feet, traveling 12,800 feet per second, or about 8,700 miles per hour. Single engine Zaragoza 104, Endeavour. Endeavour can reach Zaragoza in Spain on one engine should two fail at this point. All three.